A video on YouTube popped up on my feed titled Boston Mass in Trouble? That one put me back. Immediately started thinking, what did I miss? Which led me down the rabbit hole on sales data and analyzing one of the biggest cities in the country. So let's dig into this. But real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb and I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent and I've sold more than a thousand houses. First, I should point out that the channel and the real estate agent on it was from Maryland and he was interviewing another agent in the Boston market. And while scrolling through Maryland agent's video, I got the sense he was into, well, clickbait and quite frankly, panic poor. Let's get going with the data, but spoiler alert, the Boston market crashed, but probably not how you think. So let's take a look at a quarter over quarter analysis on the sales, average prices, and the inventory levels in Boston. In the first quarter of 2023, Boston sold 721 condos for an average sales price of $1,044,914. And at the end of the first quarter of 2022, there were 787 condos on the market. Now this is compared to the first quarter of 2022, when we had 938 condos sell for an average sales price of $1,007,225. And there were 772 condos for sale at the end of the first quarter. So sales were down an astounding 23.1%, while pricing being up 3.7%. Yes, sales plummeted, but inventory was only up 1.9%. Interesting data points. I'm not really seeing how the Boston market's in trouble yet. But let's take a look at the second quarter comparison, because this would include all the important spring market sales data. In the second quarter of 2023, Boston sold 1,137 condos for an average sales price, $1,016,912. And at the end of the second quarter of 2023, there were 887 condos on the market. Now this is compared to the second quarter of 2022 when we had 1,634 condos sell for an average sales price of $1,026,560. And there were 1,059 condos for sale at the end of the second quarter. So prices went down looking at year over year data from the second quarter of 2023 versus 2022. They were down by 0.94%. Sales levels were down by an astounding 30.4%. But here's what I found really interesting. It's something that I think made a huge difference. In that third quarter, inventory levels were down by 16.2%. In the third quarter of 2023, Boston sold 1,058 condos for an average sales price of $1,169,722. And at the end of the third quarter of 2023, there were 958 condos on the market. Now, this is compared to the third quarter of 2022, when we had 1,162 condos sell for an average sales price of $917,849. There were also 1,045 condos for sale at the end of the third quarter. Yes, prices were down almost 1% in the second quarter, but they were up by 27.4% in the third quarter of 2023. Meanwhile, sales levels were down 8.9% with inventory levels being down 8.3% year over year. Hmm, I'm not sure where I'm seeing that the Boston mass market is in trouble, but maybe it's in the fourth quarter data. Now, I'm going to admit this data isn't complete, but I feel like we have a pretty good picture of where this quarter will end up with it being two thirds of the way through the quarter. Quarter to date in 2023, Boston has sold 375 condos for an average sales price $1,197,734, with there being 854 condos currently on the market. This is compared to the same time period of the fourth quarter of 2022, when we had 459 condos sell for an average sales price of $995,520. And there were 892 condos for sale at the same time in 2022. This means that the sales levels year over year are down by 18.3%, while prices were up 23.9%. Meanwhile, inventory levels are currently down 4.3% when compared to the same time last year. There was a market crash in Boston, all right, but that crash was in the sales levels, not pricing levels. Yes, sales levels have crashed, but in no way does that mean that the real estate market in Boston is in trouble. Trouble in the Boston market would mean that prices are falling and they're not. But let's just look at the full year over year data for a true comparison on how the market's doing. Year to date, sales are down by 21.5%. Inventory is down by 4.3% and prices are up by 10.5%. Yeah, the Boston market isn't in trouble. Maybe the guy from Maryland should stick to his market data or maybe the Ravens or dig into some market stats. But then again, if they did that, then they wouldn't be able to harness that panic porn and the wish by a select few of potential buyers that the market is deteriorating. But it is not in Boston and the data proves it. Again, my name is Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Homes team. I hope you found this video helpful. Whether you're looking to buy a home in Massachusetts or anywhere else in the country, then it would be a true pleasure 
to help you. Yes, I personally can only help you here in Massachusetts, but I do have expert agents that I work with all over the country, and it would be a true pleasure to make an introduction for you at no cost to you, obviously. And if you have any questions or are interested in buying a new house, then give me a call, shoot me an email, or visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com. You can find all of my contact information in the description below. Until next time.